It's your boy Davidoff, welcome back to an Arsenal vlog. I'd like to do more of these more often, but my work schedule is just, you know, it's I work every other weekend and I work until 10 p.m. and never have Monday or Friday off. So it's like, if it's a Monday night game, a Friday night game, it's a no. <laughs> so it has to fall on the weekend that I'm off. And it's always an away game. It's really annoying. But I did book a holiday from work two weeks. Well, it's coming towards the end of that now. I'm back on Monday, but... I got the chance to go to two games and this is the first of those two games the good thing about league cup games is tickets are a lot cheaper arsenal tickets tend to be expensive for an adult but for the league cup at least it's 10 pounds for lower tier 20 pounds upper tier for an adult good prices Like home. Trains were not packed today. The underground normally is, and it's rush hour. Most of people. One hour and 15 minutes before kickoff, and here's what I'm seeing. This is every gate around the stadium. They're really just opening now. I feel like it's not worth going now. I feel like it's worth waiting a bit and then going on the desk of a queue. Or will it get worse? I really hope we take this competition seriously this season, especially because we're not in Europe. So there's one less thing to focus on. And we should have been focusing on this anyway, I feel like. We've been prioritizing big competitions, which makes sense. You've got to have your best players for the league and Europe, etc. I get that. But in this competition, it's always youngsters. And it's the best time to do it, to be fair. I get that you've got to give them a chance. And you've got to give them a chance, youngsters. You've got to give them games and game time. But we still should at least take the competition seriously, have at least first team players on the bench. That'd be great. I remember back in like, even this was eight, this has been going on for a while, but even under Wenger, we had the same things. Like he always fielded a youth team for this competition. Sometimes we went all the way to the final, which was great, but we still lost <laughs> a few times, happened a few times, but we don't take it seriously enough. I remember one time, I think it was 2012 or 2011, might've been 2013. We we're playing Man City at home. Man City played Aguero and Dzeko up front. We played a full youth team plus Park Ju Young and Chamak or something like that. Only lost one nil, but it's been going on a while and I get that you've got to give players a chance, but I hate the fact that we rest players way too often in this competition and I get that all the other big teams do it too, but the fact is we're nowhere near being at the top. Haven't been for a while and we've been going downhill. If anything, we should be taking this more seriously, just like the FA Cup. At, at least focus on something you can win. Obviously, you've got to get a league position, try and finish in European place, try and finish top four, of course. But you still want to win some sort of silverware. And the League Cup, even if it's the League Cup, it's something. And we really got to go for these competitions. We have won the FA Cup a few times recently, which is good. But we need to go for it more and go for this cup more because we haven't won this cup in a while. Even Wenger didn't win this cup. <laughs> We won this twice in history and the last one was like 1990s, 1993 I think it was. So it's a while and even though I've seen us win the league, I've seen us win the FA Cup, I wouldn't mind seeing us win this, why not? It's a, it's a trophy, it's not the biggest trophy, but it's a trophy and I'd like to win it. The queues are clearing up now, there's a lot less of a queue now. Actually there's still a queue but it's, 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 it's thinner is the point. You know what, my name is my name is cemented here. You want to see it? I'll show you. There's Henri. Let's see if I remember where my name is. Not here, please. No, I don't think it's that one. It was next to one of these. There it is. There we go. Not a bad spot. Back to what I was saying. We are playing League One Wimbledon, so it's not like we have to play our strongest team. We should be winning this regardless. But I expect to at least see strong players on the bench. That would be great. We did play a strong 11 against West Brom, which is great. But yeah, I don't expect, I expect youth today. I'm not trying to say we shouldn't play youth. I think this is a good opportunity to play them, especially today against the League One opposition at home. But also, I hope to see a strong bench. Although I'm not worried too much, which is, I don't say that very often as an Arsenal fan. Pretty much 99% of games, I say I'm nervous, even for playing like a low league team. 
But today, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like League on Wimbledon at home, one-off match. We can do this. We win this, we're in the last 16. That's great. Let me get inside and get to my seat because I think the queues are clearing up. quiet today you know is it not wednesday i usually come back from work at this time it's usually usually busier than this usually people in asda sort of snooping around what's going on there's barely anyone here <laughs> at rush hour today there was barely anyone on the train what's going on today am I, am I missing something anyway um yeah i honestly did not enjoy most of that game because <laughs> it was quite frustrating watching us attack um we were just wasting our chances making stupid passes 
missing chances, giving way the ball. It was just really frustrating to watch us in the final third. Uh, Wimbledon then did not create that much. Um, they had a couple of chances here and there, a couple of good chances. Didn't do much with them. Um, but as for us, like, we had a lot of the ball. It wasn't until, when was it? 75th minute? 70th minute? I don't know, I lost track of time when we scored our second goal. But before our second goal, it had been over an hour and we only won nil up. Yeah, and it was a penalty as well. Nothing from open play against a League One side. A League One side that did pretty well, but it's worrying, you know. Our two wins in the league were against 19th and 20th, and today it was quite annoying to, uh, to watch us. But we scored a second goal eventually. We got there in the end, then we got our third. From that point on, we started to play a bit better. A, a bit more free-flowing, brought Slacker and Smith Rowe on, that helped a little bit. And we definitely played better from our second goal onwards. Before that though, it was pretty dreadful. I hope to see better on Sunday against Spurs because uh, that is a huge game. It's not bad for a tenner though, you know. Ten pounds, get a nice night out, see Arsenal win 3-0. Not too bad. And the draw has happened. We have got, our next round is against Leeds at home. Hopefully it falls on a good day because how my schedule works is there's one week I've got Tuesday off. The next week is Wednesday off. Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So whatever week it's on, hopefully it falls on the day that I have off. Then I can go to that as well for a tenner. That'd be great. For a, con well, for, what's the word I'm looking for? For better perspective, if you don't go to Arsenal games, right? If you're not a season ticket holder, the tickets basically for League Cup, this competition is a tenner or a £20 you want to see, you want to see it up a tier. But for an FA Cup game or, or most league games, it's minimum like 30 quid. For an, this is for an adult, though. There are concession prices which are a lot cheaper. If you're like under 18, you get good ticket, you get good prices, or over 65. But if you're an adult, right, it's like 30 pound minimum. Uh, but that's a minimum. Like you got to get tickets early. If not, you won't get that. It will be it'll, the price will go up depending on where the seats are. Different seats, different prices. I don't know what the highest is for for those particular games, but for most league games and FA Cup games, it's 30 minimum. And then for big games like on Sunday against Spurs. I paid £76. <laughs> the minimum for that is 64 But I woke up late. I woke up two hours later than it went on sale. And all the cheap tickets had gone. Which, I say cheap, 64 quid. And um, so I, 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 I'm sitting up a tier. And it's 76 quid. And the highest, I checked, literally I checked. There's, there's not even a resale, right? This is like directly through Arsenal on the websites. I was looking at Arsenal v Tottenham tickets, right? I was late for the 64 quid ones, fine. I'll get the 76 quid ones, because, like, it might be the last game I go to until November because of, of my work schedule. Because of my work schedule, I just can't go to another home league game until November, late November as well. So I thought, hey, it's, it's Spurs, it's a massive game. Last I can go to for a while, I might as well pay the extra 12 quid. But I was looking at ticket prices, right? The highest one, I think it was like halfway line, upper tier? Something, it was it was under center, like halfway line. 328 pounds. This wasn't a person reselling it. It was directly on the Arsenal website on the day of sale. There was a seat for 328 pounds. One game. <laughs> I, I, I was face palming when I saw that. I was just like, what's what's going on here, man? This club's going downhill, but the ticket prices just go up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they haven't gone up in a, in a couple of years now, but that's kind of saying something because they're still this high. I've, it must be the London location. I don't know what else it would be, to be honest. <laughs> what else would we charge uh, this much? Even like season tickets are like, they're like two grand a year. It depends on the seat, actually. Some are like half that, some are like a grand. But that's still a lot. I'm pretty sure like our most expensive, expensive season ticket is like the second highest in Europe. In top five leagues, I think the first is PSG. Something like I read something like that at one point a few years ago. So it's ridiculous. So whenever there's a League Cup game at home, it's a nice feeling because you can pay ten pounds and go and see it, <laughs> or five if you're a kid, so or, or a senior. So you know, it's not too bad. Oh uh, yeah, um, Mia Demar got a trophy. Um, there's a thing that we give out to players like a hundred goals to the club both men and women, and Miedemar hit 100 goals recently in 103, 110 games, I think it was, no penalties. So pretty impressive uh, for the women's team. And before the game today, uh, she got a trophy at the game. So uh, that was pretty good. 
they got, got a good, good reception as well, so that's a leak. I'm going to end the vlog here, and uh, there'll be a, another vlog for Sunday's game. Paying a bit of money for that. Uh, so, it's it, literally, it's almost a day's wages. We better win that. <laughs> it better not go like the Chelsea game did. Um, also, when I was leaving the Emirates, actually, um, I saw that Man United lost. They, they had the score updates. Man United lost. Chelsea were drawing. And Spurs were drawing. I was just like... Well, we could have United, Chelsea and Tottenham all losing and getting knocked out on the same night. That'd be a result. As soon as I checked on the train home, Tottenham and Chelsea both won penalties. So, <laughs> never mind that. But United are out. But City are still in there. They, they always win this competition. But yeah, um, that's all from me. I will see you. Well, there'll be another vlog on this, on my personal. I'm putting this on two channels, main channel and personal channel. On my personal channel, there should be another vlog in a couple of days or so probably and then there'll be the Tottenham vlog but if you're on the main channel if you're not here for the AFL stuff I, I will see you on well this will be up, it'll be up on Monday I think the Spurs vlog so I'll, I'll see you then even if you are watching the AFL stuff if you watch my Arsenal vlogs I'll see you next on Sunday this is your boy Davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and see you